little morning funk. Mm. Mm. This, this start times for the Serbians. Mm. What up and welcome in to another DNVR Nuggets episode of DNBA show live from Studio Belgrade, which is, uh, where's that? That's Belgrade's in... Uh, near Longmont. Oh no, uh, it's in Serbia, it's in Serbia. Uh, We've been in Serbia all week. We're in a bit of a brain fog. We sent the adults off to go do the morning show. Hopefully you enjoyed them. But come on. Your favorite guys are here to play. I'm joined by D-Line Co. Guys! Uh, fellas. <laughs> Good morning, Belgrade! Mm. Let's go, dude. I'm Can ready. You feel loose today for so some reason? Loose, loose like a, a little... goose, my man. That's, uh, well, look, he's, he's essentially an internet celebrity in Serbia now. Dev likes himself, Duvalier Johnson. I like. I like this panel. Me you too. Know, those guys, uh, they were excited about the morning show. I said, I'm excited about the morning show because it's us three. So we all got what <laughs> we wanted. This is the morning right. show. We right? all got this what we wanted for us. Your real morning show. We got some great questions from you guys. We're going to do a mailbag episode. Fill in the cracks. Anything you're curious about here with this trip to Serbia, why we're doing it, what we've learned. Some cool questions there. We'll get into it. We're also going to play the hits. A little Dev likes. Mm. Little does Dev like? Offline, online with D-Line. Let's Maybe a go. little compressed version. Uh, but first, a little preview for what we've got going on today. Red Star. And it's a match oh. with real implications, as I understand it. We're not going to pretend to be football people up here. But we're, are we soccer people? Yeah. I mean, that's a, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, we're Pidsmen. But we've been getting videos. Dev, have you seen these videos? Are you prepared for what this event's going to be like? No. Yeah. Uh, I've got the videos. I am not prepared. I don't know if you can be prepared. Like, you would have to, like, uh, actually pump it into my veins. That's right. Um, for us to be prepared with what we're going to see tonight. There's so many people, all diehards. Every single person is diehards. You go to a football game, you know, maybe someone gave you tickets. Um, maybe you're going as a family or maybe you're on a date or something like that. Nope, none of that. Every single person there um, feels it. They love it. They want it. We're good. They know everything about it. So that's just been so, so shocking. <laughs> so shocking to me. Um, and, 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 and as the videos continue to go in, I'm just like, yes, yes. Kills the audio is still there? Yeah. We oh, lost each other no. Headsets. Audio. We'll do it live. <laughs> we'll do it live. Yeah. Sorry, like. uh, that's what happens when you set up a studio in an apartment uh disaster avoided yet yeah, unbelievable man one thing people have been telling us before we came out here is the way you guys are sports fans in america it's not quite the same yeah it's not quite I, think the same. I think that they're calling us uh like losers like, like soft like soft like Paper, soft baby men yeah paperback like, paperback sports, yeah, yeah i think that I, don't, that's right. I don't try to i mentally just like uh whenever i get attacked like that i try to act like it doesn't fit like phase me you're just yeah. like oh we feel it this one i know <laughs> for a fact i am not the type of like uh sportsman that they are like really the yeah. videos have been incredible just uh coming in and and also there's rules there's rules to, mm. you know, where you're sitting, oh, what you have to wear, you know, the things that you can do. One of the rules that I heard was uh, don't look anyone in the eyes. We've gotten that more than once. That's what? the same. Those what? are the same rules you get when you're dealing with a wild animal. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, like, don't look a tiger in the eyes. Or Same on thing. foot in Newark. It's tough. On foot in yeah. Newark, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've been getting also, yes. Uh, and then I even just like, because we get people are DMing us. They're just telling us, you know, try this, come here, blah, blah. But we're getting like, I would say warnings. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> like, Have fun. Be careful. <laughs> like, be careful. Don't, don't wear this. Make sure you Yes, right. So um, I would say it feels uh, to use the parlance of... Our surroundings. Yeah. Mad real. It does feel <laughs> mad real. That's accurate. All right. Dev, you're taking the internet by storm here. A new sensation. And it's really highbrow stuff. I Very think highbrow. People, it's like high concept. Oh, I barely understand it, frankly. Adam <laughs> asked me if I had a plan for social. And I was like, I have a master plan. It's going to blow your mind. We're going to film Dev trying stuff. Mm -hmm. And we're going to ask him if he likes it. Oh, man. man. Wow. What an elaborate... <laughs> like scheme of things like everything that first off like it's me that's oh right. and we didn't even think about that it is you that, that's, that's, the, part, that's right? the part that no one understands but like it's i'm working here i'm working here <laughs> yeah, the I'm entire time 
Everyone is talking about all the things that they set up, all the things they did. But I'm working at all times. I'm 24-7 out here. Sure. It's an important reminder that not everyone can do what we can do. Uh, Dev, have you liked your time in Serbia so far? I've loved my time in Serbia, honestly. Um, when I go on like a, like a, a trip back home, I'm ready to go home in like two days. I'm sure. like, like, this is done. I'm glad that we still have a couple more days here. Me too. Like that, that's how excited I am. And I, I, I really don't mean that just to like um, say it. Yeah, I'm not pandering yeah. in, in that regard. I, I have not. Not one time has anyone cried about being back home. They want to go back home or anything right. like that. Like the entire time is it, just exciting. And also we have more planned. More I think planned. that that's the wildest. We're going to a Red Star game today. We're going to a Red Star game today, and we're also going to set up a meetup because we know a lot of you have reached out. You're yeah. going to be either at the game, near the game, in Belgrade. We will have the details public there as well. Uh, at that event, you can look each other in the eyes. You can hang out with each other. You, <laughs> you can hug each other if you want. That's right. I I hope to look at somebody else in the eyes. That's, Eric needs it. He oh, needs you, it so bad. The eyes being the window to the soul. I've been told that many times in this trip, it's been uh, unclear whether or not my soul has left my body. I has need, it? I need an th outside point of view to look into the window of my soul and see if it's still there. <laughs> Dev, I, I want to know, and I think the people watching want to know, what are, what are two or three of the things that you've liked the most? Oh, Dev likes? Dev likes. Uh, Dev likes the sightseeing. Mm. I, oh. I truly do. Uh, I love the fact that we're getting to truly see Serbia. Um, everything is new to us. We're wide eye on, <clears throat> around every single corner. That's the truth. Um, everything we're seeing for the first time, and we're like, wow. Like, look at that. Look at that. Everyone has their own pictures that they're taking that they want to take on forever. Um, um, there's people, like, back home or people that, you know, that were from here that are, like, having memories like they're looking at our pictures they're looking right. at you know as we're walking through and and then there's people that are not from here that are forming new memories like hey that looks super cool what is that so like maybe they want to come on the trip you know at yeah. some point maybe they want to see you know the history of it all and, and know a little bit more so i think that um the sightseeing is number one mm. um but just quickly like we're from the u.s you know the united states sure. is 200 years old right this is exactly it I've been told Belgrade has been rebuilt 44 times because of war, because of various things that have happened. This is like, I mean, this is like cradle of society right, stuff. Like right. this is like, th there are things here that have been around so long that uh, the, like the United people from the United States have no concept because when we think of something old, we're we're thinking of something from the 50s. That's right. That's exactly <laughs> it. We're like, oh, way, way back then. Elvis Presley was here. Right. When my dad used <laughs> right. to listen to sports radio. Like, th these are, like, we go to places here that have, they're, they're like, this is from the year 1000. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And that's been, I think that's been a really, the, the history is, is so rich, it's almost palpable. And I don't know how much experience you guys have sightseeing going around, particularly Europe, but it's been really cool for me. I, I haven't gotten to do much of it, so I'm with you on that one. Yep, yep. Uh, Dev likes, uh, the knowledge. Wait, Kale, what's up? The fun fact here from the comments, the Yellen beer we've been drinking yeah. is actually older than the United States. That's, yeah, that's crazy. Whoa. That's cra I, uh, I feel like um, I felt that yeah. in my head. <laughs> yeah, that's built into the that felt like an ancient. Somehow. That felt like an yeah. ancient evil. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, yeah, second up uh, on the Dev Lights is the knowledge. Every single person that we have met who has um, took us on a tour, um, who mm. we have encountered along the way, they know everything. Yeah. Truly everything. Like, yeah. I'm asking some of the dumbest questions. Oh, yeah. we hear them. They yeah. are terrible <laughs> questions. They are embarrassing to us. Yeah. But guess what? They don't think it's that dumb and they have an answer for it. And it's like, you know, like, you know a certain thing and that's what you know. Right. You for know? sure. Right. They know everything. I yeah. can just like point to uh, like a rock, and they're just like, "Yeah, the crazy part about that." They know the year. They know you know how it came about. Listen, oh, um, they know everything about the you know the buildings, every single thing. They know the history, which I, I would have failed every single class uh, yeah. out here. Like the the, the uh, identity pulled from the national. Mm. The national identity is something here that is just we can't. I also cannot relate to. I mean, yes. to be an Amer to be honestly, to be an American, generally speaking, is like you sort of are embarrassed about it. Like you're made to feel embarrassed for reasons that we all understand. Like here, it's like they know everything because it's like this rock is them. 
right? Mm-hmm. Like yeah, this, yeah, yeah. all of these things come together to form uh, so much larger than just. It's not just a city; it's like a, a soul. Yes, right? yes, that's exactly it. To be Serbian in 2022 means something so much different, and I think just a fuller, richer sort of identity than than to be American for sure. Uh, and that's not, we're not talking about better or worse. It's just it's just it's just different. It's just so different. It's, it's different. something we can't wrap our heads around. Um, last up on on the dev likes. I mean, it would be silly for me to not love the food. Oh, uh, my guy, Dev loves the that food. Food is good. <laughs> Honestly. Did you actually like the fish stew? The fish stew I liked. It, it wasn't like helpings. the highest. Yeah, I had two helpings. I actually did, and that's another thing. Like you know, like I, I, there's been. My friends back because they know I'm telling you they know that I'm picky about food. They're oh, like, yeah. "Did you really like that stew?" And I'm like, "I had seconds. I kept going after I burned the roof of my Me mouth." Me too. Yeah. You yeah. know, like that. Like that. That should tell you enough. But like, really, the the food is incredible here. Everything is fresh. Mm. Everything takes 30, 40 minutes to cook because they're truly cooking it. It's not processed food. Yeah. It's not microwaved. You know that we get back home or anything like that. Like, there's been. Um, jokes, you know, especially like uh, from the people that kind of don't understand what we're doing um, out here on Twitter and things like that. And they're just like, do they feed you in America? Do they feed you? Tell me. I mean, I'm a, trust me. People eat in America we way too much. Too much. We eat in America. But it's not like this. It's not trying something new or something for the first time and truly enjoying it. Like yeah. the food has been incredible. And I look forward to like every single you know, dinner that we have, another night out with the fellas is awesome, but also like the food that we're going to take in and, and and they're going to bring it in. It's going to be a whole, it's kind of like performances every single time. Right. Like there's, the, there's food. The, I think it like, to me, the times that I've been in Europe, the things that like really stand out, it's, the, it's a pace of life thing. Mm. Uh, in the U.S., like we are constantly rushing to get, we like, Fast we food. have five minutes <laughs> to eat lunch. We yeah. got to do this, be here, get like, here, you know, I mean, th- there's much more emphasis on, you know, sort of the act of living as opposed to just like the act of working. Right. We're, right. you know, the United States, because it is such a young country and it, because it is in a mode where it's growing, it's it's creating itself. It's creating a lot of things that the, the world pulls from. And uh, we're sort of in perpetual motion mode, a place like this that is not establishing anything like they have established who they are thousands of years ago and right. now they're just sort of like living in it and they're now they know what's good about this place now they know what is worth spending time with and we're it's just a different right. frame of mind which is enviable in many ways um and it, it's also like for us to come and just sort of be able to drop into that and feel it in the way that we have it's just uh i mean it's just it's refreshing and it's there, there's a beauty to it that is it's hard to really understate and it creates a room to celebrate life still life still people working life can be hard life cannot be easy but one thing i keep hearing from folk out here is they try to make room to celebrate it and that's a beautiful thing and something i think that truly is without trying to just pander to one half of the audience and not the other that really is something I wish we could start to fold into American culture more and more. Uh, and it's been really cool to enjoy. Yeah, but I mean, t- just to be clear, like we are, we specifically are working at the bleeding edge of something. Like everything we do, we're figuring it out for the first time. Mm-hmm. It is messy. Kale will step on a cord in the middle. It'll unplug. It's like we do things quick, fast, messy, but we're looking for p- progress, moving yes, forward. forward. Um, and there's value to that. But it's just, it's nice to be able to have that yin and yang of life and just sort of like come to a place like this where it's so much more heavily emphasized on the other side and be able to appreciate it and be welcomed into it. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, well, so. you guys just should start walking a little bit slower. <laughs> yeah, that's the walking. one thing. That's <laughs> the- <laughs> one of our tour guides had just torn his ACL, surgeon, sorry. Um, Dev loved it. Yeah, yeah, De- Dev likes. <laughs> Dev, Dev likes. Dev likes. <laughs> just sl- slowed the pace of the whole group. I turn around, I'm like, Dev's walking with that guy, and I don't think it's a concerted effort to stick back with him. I, I think just wanted to talk to my boy. No, That's I think it. I wanted to talk page. to my oh, boy. Oh, and the best part is, is that, like, Dev, you're in a group, and someone will be like, oh, man, should we wait for Dev? I'm like, you don't understand. Dev does not want to be walking with us. <laughs> like, if we wait for Dev, he'll slow he'll down slow even down more. more. <laughs> That's a good point. 
Uh, anything else on that list there? Or should we Not on the dev likes. We, we could go to the opposite end of that spectrum. Uh-oh. That's the thing. We gotta, oh, boy. We like to keep it real, and there's been a lot of pandering done, and we, we understand. Because we're, we're celebrating each other here. Oh, uh, so celebratory. By the way, uh, people have noticed you're not wearing shoes or socks again. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I didn't notice that until just now. Uh, at least Adam's not here. Uh, yeah, he'll never see this. So, so, Dev, let's keep it real. What are some of the things you didn't like? I I, I don't like the fact that uh, we still have not had a McDonald's. Oh. Oh. No, truly. We got to try it out. Really, I, everyone talks about how the McDonald's is different in every single country. <laughs> and and I, I would love to see that for myself. <laughs> truly, because that KFC, KFC. Uh, KFC was so good, so different than what we had. I don't eat KFC. I would in love Colorado. to. I would love to slander you for this, but I cannot agree anymore. It was I, delicious. That KFC slapped so it's, hard. It was so man. good, but like really, like you you look at the pictures. The pictures are different. It's different. Every single thing is different. And for whatever reason or another, McDonald's is the one thing that they talk about, like the McDonald's in Switzerland. How good it is. How different. You know, yeah. the meat is, the cheese, and and things like that. And also, everything. Here here is so fresh that I would love to have a burger that's mm. just fresh, that's different. Serbian cows probably taste better. You, yeah. uh, we've done nothing but eat beef this whole time, so you can pull from, from those that. experiences. Yeah. Different type of, uh, of, of cows. Um, but like that, that truly is one of mine. Um, another, uh, like, Dev does not like. Yeah. I truly am upset, and it's funny to say because we spend a lot of time at places and, and you know, we're, we're going through it all, that we just haven't had, like, more time, like, at the places. Like, oh, uh, yeah. Not, you know, more, like, more time at the KK Joker, like, getting to sit oh, there and truly take it all in. Like, I really, you talked about it earlier, you know, before. I really, I don't think we have time to process that whole experience no. and, and, like, really what that was. Um, we were we were in our element, you know. Right. Us three buckets. We're buckets, so we got to sit there. I'm, and, I'm a buckish. Yeah, buckish. We yeah, got I to sit there and shoot and I'm, stuff I'm, like that. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm not a bucket. <laughs> Fine, I'm a bucket. I'm a bucket. <laughs> he is. Dev is a bucket. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like, really, like KFC. <laughs> getting to see, uh, like, you know, the whole arena and, and get a, a full access tour uh, of what it truly was. Getting to like, just, I, I wish we could have just sat and stared longer. At the dream catcher, like no. just taking that in, like this is a place that um, Joker truly loves. He loves it. We got to go to his favorite restaurant, and he truly loves that. And you get to see and make of it what you will, like why he likes it. Think that we all had a, a f- our own personal reason of why he loves to be in this gym and put his old time into it. Yeah. Why he loves to be at the the stables and, you know, his love for horses, his favorite restaurant and just like how you had to get to it, where it was, how ducked off it was. Mm-hmm. But then it was like beautiful within itself. Like just getting more time uh, when we got to sit and do the meet and greet, more time just getting to like talk to people who were just as excited um, as we were eager to know about them and, um, you know, their backstory. There's people that are traveling just like we did, but just to meet us. We're excited to, you know, come to, to Sambor, come to Serbia um, and take it all in. They were excited to meet us because these are people that have seen us every single day. And um, they felt that connection and get to see it in person, like just getting more time, um, you know, to say thank you, like truly yeah. to, to them. Uh, I think that I wish we had more time. For that. Yeah, there, I mean, there's something about the persistence of time and the way that you just things happen so quickly that never happen again. And then you look back on them for the rest of your mm-hmm. life, like small moments in sports that just happen. And then but you then they echo into eternity, like going to these places. There was the element of wanting to tread as lightly as possible because we just we. Rec- recognized how special right. it was to be part of it, wanting to spend hours and hours and hours there, but also not wanting to be impolite in a way, like, and just trying to let all of it wash over you and really try and sink in. But it's impossible in a moment. It's absolutely impossible. Like then, you know, and now already, just a day or two has gone by. Like having it sort of like ruminating on it. Like, did that? Really yeah. happened. Did we really just like go to that spot and those dogs came out and were barking at us and the, that table was there and then I was shooting baskets and like like what 
I, I what that couldn't have been real. Like all of that was in one day. Unreal. Also, do you guys know where Jokic was last night? Jokic, right next door. Jokic was oh, in a right restaurant next door. Right next to us. We did not realize until this morning. <laughs> we hate ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> We've learned a lot about Serbia. A little uh, quick lesson about Coloradans. We love our Breck beers. Oh, particularly good segue, at DNVR. bro. Because they're the official beer of DNVR. You can enjoy those. You can get their seltzers. You can get it at the bar. They're going to be sold there when the bar reopens. Streets are talking. Might be just around the corner. I don't know. We'll see. Burr, 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 burr. While you can't make it to the bar while it's closed, check out the Breck Beer Locator. It's one of the best tools on the internet. You tell it where you live. You tell it which beer you want, and it tells you where to go. Sound easy? That sounds pretty easy. Works for me. <laughs> uh, check out the Breck Beer Locator and just support Breck and Ridge Brewery because supporting our partners is one of the best ways to support us. And they've been supporting us really from the jump. So Breck Brew, uh, we love you. Unfortunately, and Breck Brew, not older than the United States. It doesn't have, does not have that States. over Yellen, but uh, it's still a fantastic beer. It probably will outlast the United States. Wouldn't well, you think? I think so. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Another thing we do in Colorado... We use DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top-rated sportsbook. And we do it because, well, for example, college football's back. And if you want to enjoy the tradition and the fun, you can get in on the game with great offers from DraftKings Sportsbook. Celebrate the best time of the year with this promo. New customers can bet just $5 on any team and get $200 in free bets instantly, win or lose. You can also play same-game parlays. The more legs you add, the more money you can win. There, there are so many ways to play, so many ways to win. When you're playing with so DraftKings many. Sportsbook. Download so the DraftKings Sportsbook app <laughs> and use code DNVR. Bet just $5 in college football and get $200 in free bets instantly. I feel like, quickly, I feel like we have to say college American football. Yeah. Just for this show specifically. To be clear. The wildest part is you could bet on football out Foot, here as football. well. No, and I and I'm going to bet on the Red Star game today. I don't think they have university sports out here. Like, I know, but, but aren't football. Attached to it's the football, not the university. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, to no say football fair. here is confusing. I'm going to call my boy because I did I did this for the, the Greek, I mean, the, the, the Serbian game. Um, I'm going to call my boy and put in a bet um, yeah. on DraftKings. Yeah, Dev, Dev has a boy. Dev, yeah. Dev calls a guy. In, in Colorado. <laughs> we're out here in Colorado. That's code DNVR. We're only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 or older. Colorado only one per customer. Try not to have boys. Uh, $5 deposit and wager $200 uh, as eight $25 free bets. That's how the uh, payment will be issued out. Restrictions apply. See terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. 0 Dev, anything left on that list of yours there? Anything left you didn't like? Uh, probably the last things, like, uh, I mean, they, they talked vote. about. Please say vote. Please say vote. <sighs> no. I mean, they talked about the weather <laughs> and stuff out here, and it's, it's really rainy today. I am, um, you know, scared of the fact that we have to go to that uh, the Red Star game in, in the mm. rain. People are Is crazier it? in the rain, and Yo, I've it, already heard about how passionate they are already. Is this supposed to be raining at game time? I hope not because I think that people are going to just be like, you know what, let's get crazier. Um, th for the first time since my eighth grade relationship, I'm scared. I'm scared. Are you going to flush that one out? or? <laughs> Actually, let's Don't. save that. Yeah. Put a pin in that Put one. Put a pin in that one. <laughs> All right. Well, we love Dev Likes. The people love Dev Likes. We'll see if Dev Likes Red Star. I've got a feeling he's going to. A tradition we're going to bring with us from back home. It's an old one. We used to play offline with or online with D-Line. Excuse me. Ah, uh, you're online referring to with, Internet Sensation. Oh, Internet Sensation. Uh, absolute you ISO, banger baby. of a show. ISO, baby. Online with D-Line. Guys, uh, it's been some time. D-Line has been offline yes. in many ways, uh, mostly mentally. Yeah. For a long time. Uh, but we thought, how appropriate. Today, let's bring back one of the more... I would say monumental the segments mm, that the internet has ever moments. seen. We're going to find out today, guys, what the emoji of the trip has been. Kale, hit, the, hit that sound. If you oh, yes. oh, emoji of the trip. Now, guys, I don't know if you've ever caught internet sensation online with D-Line before, but this is how this works. You, my esteemed panel, will mm. give me your own suggestions, your own ideas on what you think the perfect emoji to encapsulate this trip has been to this point. I will listen. I will make the decision ultimately to the winner of the emoji of the trip that will be awarded, will be remembered for time. Uh, the second that it's awarded, generally it starts trending. You know That's right. right. Um, and so we'll just go one by one. You'll present your case to me and ultimately I'll decide the winner. So... Mm -hmm. uh, 
Vote, please. Uh, you're up first. What is your suggestion for emoji of the trip? All right. Sometimes you do just got to pander, fellas. Also, this one's too easy. This one's too easy. We're in Serbia. This trip is about Serbia. It's about the people of Serbia. We're learning. We're loving. Give me the flag. Give me the Serbian Ooh, wow. flag. Wow, Serbian emoji. flag. Very, very on the nose. A little on the nose. <laughs> so, I mean, is there more that you'd like to give as for a rationale as to why this should be emoji of the trip? I think it's pretty obvious and sure. built in on, you know, so I would sum my case up like this. Kel, where are we? Serbia. Yeah, we're in Serbia. We're in Serbia. Yeah. Wow, that is airtight logic. It's hard to argue with it. Um, I don't really know if anybody can top that. Right. It seems like literally the perfect emoji for yeah. emoji of the trip. Deb, um, what is your nominee for emoji of the trip, please? Well, um... I truly do, truly do love the fact that he feels that we're in Serbia. <laughs> Congratulations. Great. Congratulations. I mean, such insight. <laughs> On the second. Uh, nah. I mean, runner up is like a place to be. Mine's is going to be um, the home emoji. Oh, oh, home emoji. Wow. We're not in Serbia, you guys. I'm at home. Oh, oh wow. I am a man of the people. <laughs> Hang on. I am second. for the people. Wow. I'm here with my people, and that's you. We're all at home. We're giving you a, a taste of, of a home that's not from your regular home, um, and we're taking it all in. You guys are here with us. Um, we're for the people. We're by the people. Um, FUBU, if you will. That's Wow. These you are know? two fantastic um, suggestions for people loved that one. Oh, the the, people the, loved that the only, one. The only, the only issue with it is that they're not deciding. That's right. You're trying to convince me. This is, the, <laughs> this is where this game gets tricky. A, a fair and impartial judge. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so home emoji. Let, okay, home emoji for Dev because he feels home. Mm. Uh, Serbian flag like emoji because Brendan recognizes that we're in the country of Serbia. Correct. Yeah. Uh, Kale, what is my nominee for emoji of the trip? Uh, my nominee for emoji of the trip is the. Pregnant slash swollen man. <laughs> Why? I think a collective we have, we have all gained minimum. I mean, I think we have to put this into the metric system. Um, 15 kilos. Uh, what are we thinking here, fellas? What, how, have we, uh, how have we all expanded on this trip beyond our minds, physically? Yeah, in America, there's a thing called Freshman 15. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a called a... Hashtag dad bod. Yeah. Dad bod, yes. Um, and, or swollen man. And you uh, you put that all in to, to, like, together. You're dead on. You're dead on. We've been not turning down any type no, of food. No, turned down for uh, what? Dev likes <laughs> all the food and continues to do it. Like, I'm missing breakfast, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make up for it at dinner. <laughs> I'm going to make up for it at lunch. That's right. And so things small. like that. So you, you're dead on. So, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, well, the, the greatest part about that emoji is that that's a brand new emoji. It's meant to represent something much more progressive than the way that I'm using it. But I'm just calling it the swollen man because I see myself in this emoji. And frankly, I see you, Brendan Vote, in that emoji. <laughs> yeah. So I, frankly. I brought, first of all, thank you. I brought my most Top Gun shirt. It's a quarter button down. You guys know how I do. One of the green ones. I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't get it on. God damn. I couldn't. I Yo, couldn't get it on. That's, that's bad, man. No, that's the the worst thing is that I when there's some there's like you can tell yourself whatever you want to tell yourself about whatever you want to tell yourself. Yeah. There are certain things that physically do not allow you to lie to yourself, like when <laughs> something you brought no longer Your fits. fits. <laughs> like, was did the heat shrink it in the suitcase? Yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently, <laughs> Dev can't talk to himself. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Kale, all right, so this is tough. This is very, very tough. I've heard your arguments. I've heard the rationale. Kale, what is the emoji of the trip? Drum roll, please. And the emoji of the trip is the swollen man. Oh, my uh, God. Unbelievable. I Eric. thought absolutely the sentiment that Dev came out with, the love, the outpouring of love I saw in the chat, I was positive was going to carry over into the deliberation. <laughs> Serbian flag, so, so obviously the emoji of the trip. We've all used it a hundred times. That's right. <laughs> tweeting, 
but swollen man wow. comes wow. up from the back. This is incredible, folks. Dude, and just it's, a, a little backstory, just just so everyone knows. Eric's actually never lost. He's actually never lost emotion. You're undefeated at this? People say that I'm intuitive to a fault. Yeah. They, I, I see things other people don't see. I sense things the way that others don't sense mm. them. You guys get caught up in obvious uh, mm. storylines. Mm. Brendan Vogt looks around at... <laughs> The flag that he sees literally everywhere. He thinks that's an important thing. <laughs> Me, I dig a little deeper. I understand that it's about what the fellas are putting into the fellas that make what the trip is all about. So well, the swollen man, unbelievably. Man. So I imagine that's trending right now. Let's check. Yep, there it is. Uh, <laughs> that was a great, what a great segment. <laughs> Goodness. Wow, well, thank you so much. <laughs> Eric, just so you know, that's only one part of online with oh, Eli. You mean internet sensation online with the <laughs> Oh, man. I don't know why. I willingly put this into the show. Yeah, this was your idea. I planned the show. That was such a dumb idea. All right. We're approaching the next break, but we're not there yet. We're not there yet. And so let's get into it. You ask. We want to answer. It's a mailbag episode. Oh. Fellas, fellas, fellas. This first question comes to us from Cat. Angela Cat. Top favorite dish you've had so far. Also, have you tried the pizza or the homemade pancakes? Probably a bit different than what you get in America. Uh, okay. we, we passed a lot of pizza parlors. I, I, Harrison really wanted a pizza yesterday. He did. He truly wanted a pizza yesterday, and I should have went with So, him. yeah, this is the thing is that I think that all of us are, um, how to say, lowbrow. That's right. I like street. I like meat of the street. I like eat of the street. I like when you get the food of the people, the mm. proletariat food, like right. the the pizzas, the hot dogs in New York. Uh, but we've been, you know, we've been shown such high level hospitality that we the red carpet has been rolled out for mm. us, and so we are getting the absolute best of the best. And so we've not had the opportunity to have like just regular food i want to try the pizza here i want to try the mcdonald's here mm -hmm. i want to try these things we haven't had it yet but what is your favorite dish to this point i, I think i'm still hung up on the fact that there was that mashed potatoes dude oh that uh, um bar the, that um bar the the, it was mashed the, potatoes with, with the pulled pork on it with like coleslaw, the coleslaw on top with cabbage that, on top that one got me we actually walked past um bar um to eat what we ate last night which was extremely good yeah but I had like a you couldn't you couldn't get whiff. past it. I had man, I, I I put I turned on my UAV. You know, it was an advanced UAV uh, to my right, and it let me know. That's a that, video game uh, that's reference. Right. It yeah. let me know like where the spot was, the way where they were coming Death's from. That was so, the, the, the craziest thing is we went to a restaurant last night that we all really liked, but it turned out it didn't have the dish that you love the most, which was one restaurant away, and it didn't have the two-time MVP of the league, which was a oh, restaurant in the restaurant. other direction. We were in the right place, uh -huh. in the exact wrong place. That place, I mean, that, that food was, that was my favorite meal, for sure. Oh, no question. But I mean, like, oh, so, I wish we knew what that was called. Uh, I think my favorite, my favorite dish that I've had has been, uh, I, if I'm being real, can I be real? Yeah. Is, this a, is this a safe space? Yeah, no, no one's watching, on the right? I already know. Yeah. KS. <laughs> I'm not that real. Oh. No, those that goddamn fried pork fat. Like we keep Ooh, having it. Really? Oh. I mean, like just little bits. It's not a meal, but like I don't know. There's something about it. I'm like, this is so unbelievably indulgent, mm. and like you shouldn't. I shouldn't be eating this. But then, like you eat one, you're like, <laughs> oh man, that was, that was pretty good. good. Well, yeah, I <laughs> have finished it every single time. Every time, it's yeah. like it's like extra, like a potato chips, like you know, super good potato chips. Yeah, I would have to say, oof, I like just about all of it. No, come yeah. on. That's why but you're swollen, That's man. why you pick that's the Serbian I'm flag swollen. as your, you can't, yeah. the man can't commit to an idea. No, it was the fish stew. It was the fish For stew real? in Sambor. I loved it. It was awesome. Also, I love, I, I romanticize things. So being on the river in Sambor, the fish stew that I know Jokic himself loves, I, the, the experience added to the flavor of the food for me, although the food was plenty flavorful on its own. Lycos wants to know if anyone other than me has tried the homemade Rakia. Uh, and and yes. if he's a better driver than Miroslav. That one's for Dev. Yes. Um, <laughs> I was in the car with you know, Lycos and uh, Dev likes. Dev likes. Mm. First off, Lycos is, I, I truly believe, the nicest guy I've ever met. Like, rules. just super genuine um, person. We haven't met? No, no, I, I said what I said. 
I don't get that part. That but, was... like, he's super nice. He's, he's been bringing us, you know, like, uh, he's been bringing us the essential things. Like, hey, I knew you were not going to be able to make it off of the plane. Let's get you a, a right, energy right, drink. Right, right, right. I knew you needed some water because you had too much rakia, Def. Let me get you some water. Um, here yeah. goes uh, homemade. And, and also with the rakia, every single rakia we get comes with a cool story of where it came exactly. from. And yep. who made it and things like that. This came from his grandma. So I had to try it for grandmama. I had to try it. That's um, right. And it was good. Like, really, the homemade Rockies, like, are truly better to me than the bottled ones, you know, that we but, uh, Yeah, but has anyone but vote? Yeah, we've had oh, no, no, almost we, yes. exclusively. That's, we have all had so much Rockia out of so many plastic bottles <laughs> that used to hold other liquids. But Lycos' stuff, which I believe his grandfather or grandmother made, uh, it's delicious. We're enjoying it. Thank you, brother, uh, for the gifts. So many gifts from all of you, and we appreciate it. Do want to remind you, for those of you that are new friends, we do this show five times a week. It's a nugget show. We're in Serbia right now. We're talking we, about... Have we mentioned the nuggets? No, that's what I want to say. It's deep off season. This stuff is cooler. We are in Serbia, so we're going to talk about the trip. But when we get back home, we're back into nuggets mode. Eric is the designer at DNVR, among many other things. And really one of the big, big reasons the company is here and thriving. And, and so he's... He has his fingerprints all over the visual identity of the company, and he's on the show with us every day. The rest of us are credentialed. We cover the nuggets. We talk to the team. And so check us out. Check our coverage out. Uh, we appreciate the love so far. One of the best ways to check us out is with Evoca TV, who also is a very, very, very big part of the reason that we're here right now. Oh, yes. Very big part of the reason that we're here right now. I can see the hat right there. Uh, Evoca TV is the new GOAT in Colorado sports, it's hard for Serbians to watch the Nuggets. They gotta stay up late, I'm sure they gotta stream. It shouldn't be that hard for Coloradans, but it has been, thanks to the uh, slap fight from the billionaire class. Super cool stuff. But with Ivaca, you could turn your home into the ultimate game viewing zone. You can even stream your teams from your phone, laptop, or tablet when you're on the go. It's only $25 a month plus a $5 receiver fee. Right now, Colorado sports fans get $10 off per month for your first three months. And you're going to get your abs, your Stanley Cup champion abs. You're going to get the Nuggets. You're going to get your Colorado sports teams back on your TV. Because I honestly believe, as tax-paying Denverites, you're entitled to that. You should be able to watch this team. So, it, I mean, mm, but you can, you can you with can, Ivaca you TV, can, you can. and you can watch us, the DNVR channel, and keep your eyes peeled on Ivaca. If you're not a member yet, if you haven't signed up, a reason you might want to sign up with Ivaca is that our big feature video on this entire trip, as we take ourselves through what we've learned, what we've seen, that will air exclusively on Ivaca TV at first. So sign up. Yep. And, and, and watch it there and watch your nuggets there. You go to ivaca.tv slash Colorado 10. That's ivaca.tv slash Colorado 10. No contracts, no catches. Ivaca TV is made for champions of the remote, of watching sports on your couch. I'm a champion. You're of, really good uh, at that. Emoji of the week. Yeah. <laughs> emoji of the trip. 26 straight. <laughs> yes. It's, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Uh, hey, winners win. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Shooters shoot, winners win. We do. <laughs> Nuggets fans, you're home for Denver sports coverage. That's us, guys. That's Let's us. go. He's partnering with a leader in sports merchandise and collectibles. That's FOCO. Uh, the DNVR team has teamed up with FOCO to secure your access to the best collectibles and gear around. Celebrate the Nuggets back-to-back -back MVP with this newly released Nikola Jokic MVP bobblehead or find your fandom with FOCO's other officially licensed Nuggets gear. Check out their gear and merch for other Denver sports teams, including the new Rocky City Connect bobbleheads. I'm going to be honest, the Jokic one is probably a better, uh, yeah, let's, better let's sell. Focus on the Head Jokic over to FOCO.com and click the link below the YouTube description for all non pre sale <laughs> items. Use the promo code DNVR for 10% off. Shout out DNVR Rockies. I miss you guys. We're back. Ah, oh, I, mi I missed us. We bike. We bike. <laughs> Let's go. We should bike. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it would help with the swollen man syndrome. Go for a jog, Big like time. yog. Yeah, it would help. It would help. You can call me Matt wants to know. Uh, will, you, will you come to Serbia on a vacation? The fellas are back oh, from the man. morning show. We're podcasting What's up? with the My fellas. Boys is back. Hey, the boys are back in town. Give me the beat, boys. Free my soul. All right, they're back. They were on the morning show. If you missed it, I don't know how you watch that after the fact. I'm sure you could maybe. There's an app. Uh, but we'll put some pictures out and all of that. Fellas, fellas, fellas. Dev, you're going to get your own question from Matt. But Eric, Matt wants to know, mm -hmm. will we ever come to Serbia on a vacation? 
Um, yes. <laughs> does this count? I know we're working, but does it, this count? I mean, this is, me. the, the question is, is that uh, now that you've found something that you really enjoy, will you enjoy it again? Yeah. <laughs> it's like you drink orange juice. You're like, man, that was really good. And you're like, will you drink orange juice again? And you're like, well, I, feel, I don't know if that's structurally. It's the same thing. I don't. I that's easier. a one for one. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, Dev, the question is different for you. Would you ever consider going back to the U.S.? <laughs> That's such a good question, you know. So many people miss me back there. It's going to be hard. I'm, I'm, I might consider going back. I truly <laughs> might consider going back to the United States uh, when our time is up. We'll have to drag you. We'll have to drag you. Matthew Kimura wants to know, what is the most interesting Serbian custom slash tradition you learned that you didn't know before your trip? Hmm. For mine, it's uh, taking, uh, taking the time at every single restaurant. You know, like uh, to to be around your 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 family, your friends, um, the people that you know. Um, I think that that was a shock for me, especially with um, how you know how long it takes for them to bring the food out because they're preparing it and um, they want you to enjoy like your time. You know, like when I'm back at home, I'm like, hey, you know, let's hurry up. Or as soon as like I get the meal, I'm like, here, I'm ready for the you know receipt. When I'm done, I want to just leave. Um, like so, bring me the check and stuff like that. But like here, you you take your time. Um, you eat your food, you drink, you, you got the laughs. Um, when you sit down somewhere, you're there for a couple of hours. It's, nothing is just quick you know, and, and ready to go. You're not going to have dinner and a movie. There's just no way you're going to be able to do that. So it's just like, like straight on. Um, and I think that you know, it just makes sense of why people are so close here. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I mean, <clears throat> a lot of it is you... Uh, and I'm curious like, what, uh, how our experience like compares to just the average experience of somebody coming here. I mean, people have been so unbelievably welcoming to us. They have been not allowed us to pay for things. They've, they've not allowed us to uh, worry about a single detail. They've been in our messages, offering us experiences, wanting us to be part of everything that's going on, wanting us to see the things that they themselves like are so proud of and, and for good reason uh, in the country. It's just, they, this is, I, I, so I guess I would sum that up by saying like just how unbelievably warm everybody mm -hmm. is. Like this, this is just the warmest reception I've ever received. And I'm including, of course, Christmas at my family's home. That's right. Uh, <laughs> birthdays that I've had. Uh, things That's like, supposed to be about just you, Literally right? every day I show up in the office. Yeah. <laughs> Ice Cave guy, the legendary Ice Cave guy. Wish you were here, brother. He says, I'll go with the low-hanging fruit and ask vote. Uh-oh. How was it for him to grab the low-hanging branch to feel like the Joker himself? <laughs> well, tell him about how low that branch was first. I think the actual branch has been removed. I just want to do yes. I Do you guys think I was going to grab the Jokic branch? He's I, I seven think it's gone. feet tall. See, the, so one thing also that, uh, that, seven that feet no tall. one's – and I just learned about it being out here is Joker couldn't actually grab the branch. He was on he top was on of a bench, a bench. Yeah. and I did not know that until the people that were there, you know, kind of told me. And it's wild. It was just like a, a group of girls that knew that type of They're like, he's already on top of, of that thing. So, like, to have Vote up there, hilarious. That he would have never been able to touch that thing. No, I tried. I tried. But how was that experience? Taking that picture, utterly humiliating. I'm, I'm glad to that. Restaurant if you said uh, anything other yeah. than humiliating, I would be like, Learn humility. On the way out. Because that was humiliating for all of us. I loved it. Oh, way. I know. No, I mean, we loved it because we weren't doing it. But it, the whole <laughs> the whole to. scene, yeah, you're right. No, we, listen, you're a hero, but all the same. On the way out, I yelled, sorry, Americans. Yep. <laughs> they actually liked that. Dev, whose jumper was broken at Jokic's court who channeled their inner Jokic at said court? Uh, it's, it, I, I assume we're talking KK Joker and not this one. Yeah, court. I really don't like throwing people under the yes, bus. Yes, you do. D-line's jumper broke, broke, no ratchet. You know, he, I, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have distance. Yeah, it was too far, and he also is stubborn, so like he didn't want to come closer. Well, I, like, I, I essentially moved in, but it, once you, I mean, I just, I mean, it was bad. Listen, it was bad. <laughs> I, I, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, I don't have that thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't have that dog in me, but I have, I have a smaller. Uh, chunkier wiener dog in me. 
in Sombor. <laughs> so if I'm closer, I, I was hitting the I was hitting the shuffles. I was hitting the. If you saw my free throw form, it was it, it's beautiful. Then you want, if you want to talk about like who who um, who might be six two or the ratchet, Ryan Green shocked me. He shocked me as a shooter, and I didn't know how. And also now it makes me feel like uh, dumb about it because he tr- like literally goes to every court and takes shots and things like that. But he actually can shoot, especially like free throws. He like just kept on hitting them in a row. He has great form on, on the free throws. Um, and also you could just tell he was excited to be around basketball, which I really – it threw me off. I don't know why I'm so shocked about that. So um, D-line, they have no like. Oh, come on, man. Uh, come on, that's overstated. Dev Fuck, likes. Goddamn vote wouldn't even put a shot up because he knew he would get this treatment. That's all right. GD vote was filming and tweeting everything, and you're welcome, Dev, for that one take we put out uh, for that does Dev like this court. It was not a one take. Uh, uh, let's, just, let's pull back the curtain. Let's pull back the curtain. Oh, I didn't even attack him. Not, it, not ride or die. It was, uh, Hold on, did I make a whole bunch of shots? Well, first off, you, you did, did make a whole oh. bunch of shots. First off, ride or die, you just murdered me moments ago. Yeah, yeah. then he decided, like, hey, you're going to murder him, I'm going to murder you him. You murdered me yesterday, I wasn't even on the show. All right, uh, this is a tough one. Mudri o- Oblock? We'll see. Uh, <laughs> what surprised you the most about Serbia? I want to go first on this one, fellas. I thought they would all be into horses. Some are. That's a Jokic thing. That's a Jokic thing. Not all. N- not all. <laughs> Sambor. Sambor, excuse me. I thought Sambor, excuse me. I thought Sambor would be an equestrian town. But I think, that is, a, I think that is a particularly Jokic affinity. Yeah. I think you're right. I, didn't, I, didn't, I, don't, I don't know that I thought that necessarily. Um, but the thing that I'm most surprised about, just generally, and I, we kind of talked about it earlier, is just like the – and you know it um, – to just say it out loud, but just like what Belgrade is, like the in context of the history of the world, and just the, like it's you kind of feel it because, again, like we've been told it's been rebuilt forty four times, and so not everything is perfect. You know, it's sort of like it, it comes, it falls, and you can feel like there's it, it's it's a living place in that way. It's like it's a di- it's not like the rest of Western Europe. It, I, I don't know how it compares to Eastern Europe and I've ever been, but like this central part, it's like there's just something so, um, I don't know, the word authentic I've used, but it's, I don't know, it, it, uh, mad real. Mad real. That place, this place is mad real. This place is mad real. Dave, you got one for that? Um, yeah, I think, I think really I, I, I believe that uh, Jokic was a lot different in the way that he thought. Um, you know, on a basketball court, and I just really now understand that everybody's IQ is extremely high here. Um, they do things in just different ways, and he's one of them. It's not like he's just one of one. He's one of the man of the people, and you could see it in their everyday life of how high IQ they are and how it, you know, relates to why he is um, playing and thinking the way that he does. I think that that has thrown me off, uh, got me in a loop. Apart from the Kafana, do we intend to visit other cultural sites in Serbia? And then someone followed up and said, yeah, the Nikola Tesla Museum, the, the Church of St. Sava, is that the correct name? And I do believe the latter, we're planning to make a trip and visit. Um, and maybe the former as well, but we're on a tight it, schedule. Yeah. We it was be, the intent to visit that the first day, but it was day. so oppressively hot. It was <laughs> insanely hot. We just hot. Like, couldn't make it happen for ourselves. We, we, do want, we do want to hit all that stuff, but... We've had a, a packed schedule, which is a good thing. It's a good problem to have, but we do have to, have to try to keep it moving. Um, finally, Muji Oblak also asked us, has our view on basketball changed at all and how? Dev, you go first on this. Yes. Um, just um, like really like the European basketball, like everyone is skilled. Um, everyone can do everything on the court, and it just makes sense with the high IQ that we were just talking about. Um, they just want to be great at every single thing where now everything comes easy. They're patient people. They're high IQ people. They're thinking everything through um, that, it, you know, now makes sense. And also, I'm sure that it's taught to them at such an early age, um, which is a lot different than, you know, in the United States. Uh, if you're over six foot, they're going to make you a big man. You're going to learn big man things. You're going to set a screen and roll to the basket. And that's pretty much it. Um, you could tell, you know, out here, everything is so high, high IQ that 
they're doing everything and it's for intention. So I, I do think that um, being out here just like makes you understand it a, a little bit more um, of why they play basketball, that, you know, the way that they do and why um, passing is so important, making those type of cuts, being skilled, being able to shoot, dribble, pass, every single thing. So, yes. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, in the United States, basketball is a big deal. It is in, lo- in many ways like sort of the cradle of basketball. It wasn't invented there, but it is the place that I think it's been, you know, most, uh, I don't know, elevated in a way. But it's not – it doesn't have the same, like, immersive feeling that it does here. Like, there are billboards with – children's teams on them like you just see like you're aware of basketball a lot more here than you are in the united states i don't know if you've picked up on this also but like i just see i just see a lot of um a lot more reference to basketball for us specifically talking about the nba all the time the nba you know usually gets watered down to the idea of celebrity Mm. and a lot of the things that we just absolutely hate about the nba that you get mired in the conversation uh becomes about a lot more than the the actual game well hey what's up that the game itself and there's just like a purity to it here that i really appreciate it's about you know it's about um how it just like really dovetails in with the, the culture, the, culture. The, and the, the the identity of, of everybody here that's that's interesting and so it, it it is different it does feel different yes it's something I think you know I haven't been on all these interviews which is a key part of this as we try to understand the history of Serbian basketball and where you, and where Jokic Jokic's personal history and so as we move closer to the end of the week and I see all those interviews I think my answer to that might uh, it's, I think it'll be easier to reflect on yeah but I would say for now my my understanding of Jokic has changed or improved, having yeah. been to Sombor. Not changed, but to contextualize it. To contextualize the pace. The, the way he, just the way he is. The way he goes on about his approach to being a human and a professional is Sombor. It's typically Sombor. It's a slower pace. It, and, it's, and it's a different, it's just a different thing. So having been there and seen that in person uh, and seen some of his spots, I think just to have that context for him, uh, is really, really cool. And I'm really excited to learn more about this perspective on basketball and how it might change ours. That's been, in some ways, the beautiful thing of following Jokic's career, even if we were sort of, again, ig- ignorant of the context. He was pushing our understanding of the game forward, <coughs> always and all the time, and still does. And so it's just really cool to be here and, and see how it all began. We can't thank you guys enough for all the questions. Great questions. Again, this reception has been wonderful. From here, we go to Red Star. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I'm excited for that. So there's going to be a lot of fun media coming out today. Another meetup. Again, we will hit that. Uh, We'll get those details out later in the day so you know exactly where to meet us and when. Thank you, Serbia. More to come. We're not done yet, fellas. Good stuff. We're out of here. Guys, Red Star. Let's go. Hi, guys.